The list of candidates to replace Greg McMackin as head coach of the UH football team continues to grow. Yesterday, KITV4 Sports confirmed 53-year-old Dwayne Aquino is getting an interview this weekend. He's the assistant head coach at Texas right now. Also confirmed, 55-year-old Mark Banker flying in for an interview as well. He's defensive coordinator at Oregon State. And 52-year-old Dirk Cutters, a candidate as well, is offensive coordinator for the NFL's Jacksonville Jaguars. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Initially, UH announced they received 30 applicants to be their new head coach. Number later raised to 42 and still counting. Tonight, another name confirmed getting an interview. KITV4 Sports has learned that 46-year-old Brian Norwood is headed to Hawaii this weekend. He's a former UH defensive back out of Radford and current associate head coach at Baylor. Previously, Norwood was the Bears defensive coordinator. Coach DBs at Penn State for seven seasons. Also held assistant gigs at Texas Tech, Navy, and Richmond. Now, not confirmed by KITV4 Sports, but their names are running wild online are the two coordinators currently at Utah. This is a familiar face. Utes OC Norm Chow, formerly of UCLA, Tennessee Titans, USC, NC State. Long run calling plays at BYU. Multiple national championships, multiple Heisman Trophy winners. Confirmed he's applied, again, online reports have him being interviewed as well. Same for this guy, current Utah defensive coordinator Kalani Sitake, a native of Laie. On the Big Island tonight in Kona at Kealakehe High School. And for the first time during the regular season in 21 years, UH men's basketball team matched up against their Division II little brothers, UH Hilo. And the Vulcans did not back down. They built an 11-point lead during the first half of play. That's Terrell Mack with the three-pointer. Rainbow Warriors off to a sluggish start, getting the start at point. Freshman Shaquille Stokes. He dropped 21 points. Mr. Hustle, as usual. Trevor Wiseman battling for a rebound and getting a putback. At halftime, UH Hilo led 34-32. Mac, 21 points. Good for five three-pointers. After intermission, though, give Arnold's bunch, despite that quick two from Zach Wilde, they got things going. Boys from Manoa. Put together a 15-2 run. That's Justin Thomas, 17 off the bench, six for eight from the field. Vander Joaquin, another monster outing. First the block shot, the other end, nice touch with a turnaround. 19 points, 17 rebounds. Rainbow Warriors won 79-66. Added a 14-0 run late in the second half as well. Dane Johnson just six points, no long balls, ending his streak of 31 consecutive games with a triple. Sunday, UH plays North Carolina A&T, that game on Maui. Not good news for the 2-7 Rainbow Wahine basketball team tonight. Sophomore guard Shauna Lekuwehu, former All-State standout out of Punahou, for personal reasons, is taking the rest of the year off with hope of returning next season. Shauna sat out a year after high school before getting started, nursing a knee injury, lost her freshman season, another knee injury, this season averaging 5.5 rebounds in her career, she's averaged nine points per game. There is some good news though. Ladies get Vicky Tagalikot this weekend. Big Island girls are transferred from USC. And Kalea Dolfo is coming over from the Rainbow Wahine volleyball team. Team back in action Sunday, tipping off their Rainbow Wahine shootout versus Portland State, Denver, and UC Davis also taking part.